Hello everybody, uh, in this session we are going to talk about vitamin C, uh, type 1 uh, micronutrient, uh, again important. Uh, vitamin C is extremely important to be taken with iron rich food, speci specifically iron which we get from vegetarian source. Uh, vitamin C helps with the absorption of iron uh, through intestine. Uh, it is also important for the formation of uh, you know, uh, your collagen. So vitamin C is important for that also. Uh, in this importance of vitamin C tutorial, we have shown uh, various, uh, you know, importance of vitamin C in human body. Uh, we have also shown uh, two recipe video. One is the uncooked recipes, which are raw recipes. Uh, of course, vitamin C is much higher in raw food. Uh, and we have also shown cooked recipes of uh, vitamin C. So I'm sure you'll enjoy all three tutorials and uh, do watch them and then share it with your friends and family. Thank you. Welcome to the spoken tutorial on the importance of vitamin C. In this tutorial, we will learn about role of vitamin C in the body, food sources of vitamin C, ways to increase vitamin C intake in our diet, Vitamin C is a water-soluble vitamin. It plays a very important role in several body functions. It is essential for the synthesis of collagen, which acts like a cement. It holds the bones, muscles, skin and the whole body together. Tissues of our body like skin, hair, blood vessels and bones have collagen. Vitamin C helps in recovery after a muscle or skeletal injury. It helps in the healing of wounds. It is also required for maintaining healthy skin. Another role of vitamin C is that it acts as an antioxidant. Antioxidants are substances that protect our body from damage by free radicals. Free radicals are substances that are naturally produced in the body. They become harmful only when they become excessive. Pollution, smoking, alcohol, harmful chemicals increase free radicals production. This results in cancer, diabetes, heart diseases and cataract. Vitamin C reduces the formation of free radicals in the body, thus protecting our cells from damage. Vitamin C also strengthens our immune system. It helps in fighting infections and protecting against other diseases. For example, common cold, cancer and heart diseases. Vitamin C helps in bone formation. It also helps in the synthesis of a few hormones. For example, dopamine, adrenaline, noradrenaline. These hormones help the body respond to stress or fright. In addition, Vitamin C enhances the absorption of non-heme iron in the body. Non-heme iron is a form of iron which is mostly present in plant-based foods. For example, green leafy vegetables, seeds, nuts and beans. Consuming too little vitamin C can increase the risk of iron deficiency. This may result in anemia, which is known as iron deficiency anemia. Deficiency of vitamin C can result in scurvy. Early signs of scurvy are uneasiness, fever and fatigue. 
Other symptoms are swelling and bleeding in gums and loosening of teeth. Poor healing of wounds and bruises and bleeding on the skin is visible. Swelling and pain in the joints may also arise. The hair becomes dry and coiled. Other signs of deficiency are dry skin, mood changes and poor immunity. Iron deficiency anemia can also occur due to vitamin C deficiency. Let us now look at the daily vitamin C recommendation. For babies up to 12 months of age, 25 mg per day is recommended. For children who are 1 to 10 year old, 40 mg per day is recommended. For adolescents, 45 to 75 mg per day is recommended. For adult females, it is 75 mg. 90 mg is recommended for adult males. The requirements are higher during pregnancy and lactation. Pregnant women should have 85 mg of vitamin C per day. Lactating mothers should have 120 mg per day. Let me now tell you the food sources of vitamin C. Certain fruits and vegetables are good sources of vitamin C. Among fruits, gooseberry and guava are the richest sources. One medium-sized guava gives around 300 mg of vitamin C. One gooseberry has nearly 60 mg of vitamin C. Other examples are Bengal currant, Indian jujube and raw mango. Fruits like oranges, lemons and sweet limes are also good sources. One tablespoon of lemon juice has approximately 8 mg of vitamin C. One medium orange has about 40 mg. Even green leafy vegetables have an adequate amount of vitamin C. For example, leaves of drumstick, amaranth, radish and mustard. Fenugreek leaves and agathi leaves are other examples. 100 grams of raw green leafy vegetables have about 60 to 100 milligrams. Coriander and mint leaves also have some amount of vitamin C. Some other vegetables also have moderate amounts of vitamin C. For example, capsicum, cabbage, drumsticks, bitter gourd, tomatoes and peas. 100 grams or 2 raw tomatoes have 27 milligrams of vitamin C. There are certain factors which decrease the vitamin C content of the food. It is sensitive to heat and water. It is lost if cooked at high temperature or exposed to prolonged sunlight. Cooking in excessive water and discarding the water also results in loss. Storing food in the refrigerator for a long time reduces the vitamin C content. Thus, many of the vitamin C rich foods are best consumed raw. This way, you get the maximum amount of vitamin C from it. If they are cooked, they should be cooked on low flame for short durations. Steam or saute vegetables instead of boiling. Upon steaming, the loss of vitamin C is the least. Do not repetitively heat the food. Cook with minimum or no water. Avoid storing and refrigerating food for a long time. Let us learn some ways 
to increase our daily intake of vitamin C. Eat fresh fruits and vegetables. Pick the raw fruits as they have more vitamin C. Try having a food source of vitamin C with every meal. With your meals, you can have mint, curry leaf or coriander dips. Lemon juice can be sprinkled on your food. Garnish your meals with coriander leaves or mint leaves after cooking. You can also increase the vitamin C content of your food by sprouting. As much as possible, include sprouted beans in your diet. All these methods will ensure that we get adequate vitamin C from our diet. Adequate intake of vitamin C is necessary for our good health. This brings us to the end of the tutorial. Welcome to the spoken tutorial on vitamin C rich cooked recipes. In this tutorial, we will learn about ways to avoid the loss of vitamin C from food. Preparation of some vitamin C rich cooked recipes. We will first understand what is vitamin C and its role in the body. Vitamin C is an important water soluble vitamin. It is required for various functions in the body. For example, healing wounds and maintaining healthy skin. It also helps in fighting infections and other diseases. Additionally, vitamin C enhances the absorption of iron in the body. Hence, adequate intake of vitamin C rich food in our daily diet is essential. Gooseberries, guavas and citrus fruits are excellent sources of vitamin C. Green leafy vegetables and other vegetables are additional sources. I will now tell you ways to avoid loss of vitamin C from food. It is to be noted that vitamin C is sensitive to heat and water. Cooking at high temperatures will destroy some amount of vitamin C in the food. Cooking in excess water and throwing that water causes a loss too. Thus, some points should be remembered while cooking vitamin C rich food. Do not overcook the food. Cook in minimum amounts of water. Do not discard the water after cooking. Avoid repetitive heating of food. Steam or saute the vegetables instead of boiling them. However, if boiling is required, then use the water for some other preparation. Do not throw it away. You may use the water for kneading a dough. You can also add it in curries and soups. Let us now look at the preparation of some vitamin C rich recipes. Our first recipe is Stir Fry Gova. To prepare this recipe, you need 150 grams or 1 semi ripe gova, half lemon, half teaspoon cumin seeds, 1 by 4 teaspoon red chili powder, 1 by 4 teaspoon coriander powder, 2 to 3 curry leaves, 1 teaspoon oil or ghee. Use salt as per your taste. Procedure Wash the gova and cut it into small pieces. Heat oil in a pan. Add cumin seeds and curry leaves. When they start to crackle, add the chopped gova pieces. Add red chili powder, coriander powder and salt. Mix everything well and saute for 2 to 3 minutes on medium flame. Switch off the flame and squeeze some lemon juice. Sauteed gova is ready. 
one bowl of this recipe will give around 300 mg of vitamin C. Our next recipe is drumstick curry. For this recipe, you need 75 grams or 2 drumsticks, 2 tomatoes, half onion, half teaspoon ginger garlic paste, 1 fourth teaspoon cumin seeds. The spices needed are 1 fourth teaspoon red chili powder, 1 fourth teaspoon coriander powder, 1 fourth teaspoon turmeric powder. You will also require 2 teaspoons of oil or ghee and salt to taste. Procedure Wash the drumsticks thoroughly. Cut it into pieces. Remove the peel. Steam the drumsticks in a steamer. If you do not have a steamer, fill one fourth of a cooking pot with water. Place a stand in it and keep a plate of drumsticks on the stand. Cover the pot and steam on medium flame for 10 minutes. Meanwhile, grind onion and tomatoes in a mixer to make a smooth paste. Heat oil in a pan and add cumin seeds and ginger garlic paste. Once they start to crackle, add the onion tomato paste to it and stir it well. Then add red chilli powder, turmeric powder, coriander powder and salt. Cook for 3 to 5 minutes. Next add the steamed drumstick pieces. Add 1 fourth cup of water and cover the pan. Cook for 2 minutes on medium flame. Drumstick curry is ready. One bowl of this recipe gives about 140 mg of vitamin C. The third recipe is amaranth leaves curry. Ingredients required to prepare this recipe are 60 grams or 1 fourth bundle of red amaranth leaves, 1 teaspoon grated gooseberry, half cup roasted gram flour, 1 small onion, 2 small tomatoes. Other ingredients required are half teaspoon ginger garlic paste, 1 green chili, 1 fourth cup coriander leaves. The spices needed are half teaspoon red chili powder, half teaspoon coriander powder, one fourth teaspoon turmeric powder. You also need salt to taste and one tablespoon of ghee or oil. Procedure Wash the amaranth leaves thoroughly and chop them. Take the chopped amaranth leaves in a bowl. Add salt, red chili powder, chopped green chili and grated gooseberry. Then add ginger garlic paste and roasted gram flour. Mix everything well. If required, you can add 1 to 2 tablespoon of water to bind the mixture. Make long rolls of this mixture. Steam the rolls on medium flame for 10 to 15 minutes. The procedure for steaming has been explained earlier in this tutorial. After steaming, keep the rolls aside and let them cool. Cut the rolls into medium slices. Meanwhile, grind the tomatoes in the mixer to make a smooth puree. Next, heat oil or ghee in a pan. Add chopped onions and saute it. Add turmeric powder, red chilli powder and coriander powder. Mix well and then add the tomato puree. Let it cook on low flame for 3 to 5 minutes. Add the slices of amaranth leaves rolls and mix well. Cover the lid and cook for 1 to 2 minutes and switch off the flame. Garnish with washed and chopped coriander leaves. One bowl of this recipe gives about 98 mg of vitamin C. 
The last recipe is raw mango and split Bengal gram chutney. For this recipe, you need 3 tablespoons of split Bengal gram, half or 60 grams of raw mango, half tomato, 1 teaspoon grated gooseberry, 1 green chili, 1 fourth cup or a handful of coriander leaves, 1 fourth teaspoon mustard seeds. Use salt according to your taste. You will also need 1 tablespoon of oil or ghee. Procedure Wash and soak the split Bengal gram in water for 4 to 6 hours. Then grind it along with green chilli coarsely in a mixer or a stone grinder. Next, heat oil or ghee in a pan and add mustard seeds. Once they start to crackle, add the coarse paste. Mix it well and let it cook on medium flame for 2-3 to three minutes. Switch off the flame and remove it in a bowl. Add grated raw mango and gooseberry to it. Then add chopped tomatoes along with washed and chopped coriander leaves. You can have this along with your meals. 2 tablespoons of this recipe will give about 40 milligrams of vitamin C. Note that vitamin C content of all these recipes is based on raw edible portions. Ensure adequate intake of vitamin C rich food in your diet for good health. Also remember the key points to avoid the loss of vitamin C from food. This brings us to the end of the tutorial. Welcome to the spoken tutorial on vitamin C rich uncooked recipes. This tutorial is about the preparation of some vitamin C rich recipes. Vitamin C is a water soluble vitamin. It plays a very important role in several body functions. It is required for healing of wounds and maintaining a healthy skin. It helps in fighting infections and other diseases. Vitamin C also enhances the absorption of iron in the body. Deficiency of vitamin C can result in scurvy, fatigue, low immunity, etc. So, adequate intake of vitamin C rich food in our daily diet is essential. Vitamin C is present in most of the fruits and vegetables. Citrus fruits and gooseberry are excellent sources of vitamin C. However, it gets easily destroyed by heat. For maximum benefit, it is best to take vitamin C rich food raw. In this tutorial, I will teach you some uncooked vitamin C rich recipes. Cooked vitamin C rich recipes will be explained in another tutorial. The first recipe we will see is guava chutney. To prepare this recipe, you will need 50 grams or half guava, half cup or a handful of washed coriander leaves, 3 green chilies, 1 teaspoon cumin seeds, half lemon, salt to taste. Procedure Cut the guava into small pieces. Grind all the ingredients in the mixer along with the lemon juice. You can add a little water to make a smooth paste. Guava chutney is ready. One fourth cup of this chutney will have about 110 mg of vitamin C. This chutney can also be made with other vitamin C rich fruits. For example, gooseberry, raw mango, karwanda, raw papaya, etc. Our second recipe is raw mango and peanut salad. For this you need 50 grams or one small raw mango, 
वन गूस बेरी वन टोमेटो वन फोर्थ कप और अ हैंडफुल ऑफ रोस्टेड पीनट्स हाफ कप और अ हैंडफुल ऑफ वॉश्ड कोरियांडर लीव्स वन लेमन वन ग्रीन चिली एड सॉल्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू योर टेस्ट प्रोसीजर वॉश पील एंड डी सी द रॉ मैंगो फाइनली चॉप द रॉ मैंगो गूसबेरी एंड टोमेटो इन अ बाउल टेक द चॉप्ड रॉ मैंगो गूसबेरी एंड टोमेटो एड पीनट्स ग्रीन चिली एंड सॉल्ट स्क्वीज वन लेमन इन टू इट एंड मिक्स वेल रॉ मैंगो एंड पीनट सैलड इज रेडी वन बाउल ऑफ दिस सैलड गिवस अप्रॉक्सीमेटली सेवेंटी सेवन मिलीग्राम्स ऑफ वाइटामिन सी आर नेक्स्ट रेसिपी इज बेबी फेन्यूग्रिक लीव सैलड फॉर दिस यू नीड सेवेंटी फाइव ग्राम्स और थ्री टू फोर बंडल्स ऑफ बेबी फेन्यूग्रिक लीव्स वन टेबल स्पून फ्रेश कोकोनट वन टेबल स्पून स्मॉल येल्लो लेंटिल्स हाफ टोमेटो वन ग्रीन चिली हाफ लेमन यू ऑल्सो नीड सॉल्ट टू टेस्ट प्रोसीजर सोक स्मॉल येल्लो लेंटिल्स इन वॉटर ओवर नाइट कट वन इंच ऑफ रूट्स ऑफ द बेबी फेन्यूग्रिक लीव्स एंड डिस्कार्ड दैम वॉश द फेन्यूग्रिक लीव्स थरली प्लेस दैम ऑन अ क्लीन क्लॉथ This will absorb all the excess water from the leaves. Chop the leaves and put them in a bowl. Add chopped tomatoes and green chili. Then add chopped coconut and soaked small yellow lentils. To this add salt and lemon juice. Crush it coarsely using a mortar and pestle. Baby fenugreek leaf salad is ready. One bowl of this salad will give around 70 mg of vitamin C. Our next recipe is gooseberry pickle. To prepare this, you need 1 gooseberry, 2 to 3 green chilies, 1/2 cup or a handful of washed coriander leaves, 1 to 2 cloves of garlic, salt to taste. Procedure: Deseed the gooseberry and chop it. Chop the chilies and coriander leaves. Add salt. Crush all the ingredients coarsely in a mortar and pestle. Gooseberry pickle is ready. It can be taken one to two times a day with your meals. Two tablespoon of this pickle has about eighty-eight milligrams of vitamin C. Moving on to our last recipe, which is cabbage salad. To prepare this salad, you need. 100 g or 1/4 cabbage, half tomato, half cup or a handful of washed coriander leaves, one green chili, one lemon, one tablespoon of roasted and crushed peanuts. You will also need half teaspoon dry mango powder and salt to taste. Procedure: Shred or chop the cabbage finely. Chop the tomato also. Take the chopped cabbage, tomato, coriander leaves and green chili in a bowl. Next, add the roasted and crushed peanuts. Now, add salt and dry mango powder. Mix everything well. Squeeze a lemon on top. Cabbage salad is ready. One bowl of this salad will give about 60 mg of vitamin C. All these recipes have a good amount of vitamin c try to include vitamin c rich food in your daily diet for good health this brings us to the end of the tutorial thank you for joining